Hello friends, welcome to Indian Pacific. Today we are going to create Life Ray MVC portlet. So if you don't know about the basics of the portlet, then you can check out my videos portlet in Java and you can learn about the basics of the portlet. Now let's move to the Life Ray and create the MVC portlet. So I have opened the Eclipse. I have already set up the Life Ray server with the MySQL database. If you want to set up the same then you can check out my video and set up the life ray with mysql database now from here you are able to see the life ray menu this kind of menu is showing this is required so you have to install the life ray id into your eclipse you can also use life ray developer studio now go to the file new other let's create first life ray workspace Select Life Ray Workspace project. Do the next. Give the name of your workspace like Life Ray Training. Then select your build tool, Gradle or Maven. You finish. So Life Ray Workspace will be created. You can see Life Ray Workspace project is created. It is created here. So all the modules or portlet we will create is goes into the modules folder. Here the modules folder is there. Now we are going to create the MVC portlet. So do file new other select life ray module project. Do the next. Now you have to give the name of your portlet. I'm giving employee MVC. You can give any name. Here I have selected the gradle tool. By default, project template name MVC portlet is selected and you have to use the same to the next give your controller class name or component class name employee let's say I'm giving employee MVC my component I'm doing giving com dot DNA. my package name Can use the any package name and component name. Once you will do the finish, portlet default structure is created. So here we are able to see the default structure of the portlet is created. Java files, the resources folder, the JSPs will be created, and the CSS folder is created. Whatever the CSS we will use during the portlet development. So by default it is creating main dos css let's open view.jsp so this is the first jsp which is loaded whenever we will deploy our portal at and it will render first on the portal page so it will create one mvc portlet keys.java class in that in that class you can see the portlet id or name so it, it will be a unique also create component class component class is created we will see each and every detail of this component class so this is our default structure of the portlet now this portlet is created we don't need to make any change in the code as of now so let's deploy our portlet first so I have already started my life ray so it is running on port 8080 so let's access the life ray here so it is running on 8080 now you can build this portlet by opening the gradle task you have to open the gradle task go to preferences open the show view and so choose the gradle task open the life ray workspace you will see modules click on employee mvc build click on build goal so it will create the jar file of our portlet project so let's move to the portlet project where it is it is in the modules folder from here we can see employee mvc portlet so inside the build folder 
inside the leaves this is the our portrait jar so it will get deployed into life reserver so com.indianpacific.org dash 1.00 the jar name now let's deploy this jar the our server is already started i have configured the life reserver with eclipse so just right click on the server you add and remove click here select the employee mbc and add now once you will do the finish our portlet will get deployed so you can see into the life reserver log our portlet will get started so here we are able to see started com.indipresspect.org so our portlet is get deployed on the page now let's add that portlet go to the widget so this is the employee mvc portlet i have added on the page i can add this same portlet on the page multiple times you can stop this if you want to stop this to add one portlet on multiple same page multiple times for that we have to change in our component class so here there is one property com.liferportlet instanceable is true that means we can add same portlet on one page multiple times if we make it false then we once i will save okay, you can see here to deploy it here so now let's refresh the page okay now i want to add the same portlet multiple times let's remove this portlet again i'm going to add the mvc portlet again okay i have added so here you can see that button is not coming so you can add this portlet once if i make the instanceable property false now let's understand other properties so the first one is display category whatever the category name which is used for displaying is coming here so right now sample category is there here the sample category is there you can see this is the categories of the widgets so here is the sample category we can give our own name for the category so let's give the name like learning category here whatever the css that you will want to use main css in this portlet display name first jsp which will get rendered when we will deploy the portlet and add it on the page when the render method will call it will find the jsp so the first jsp will be loaded from here so here we have mentioned the view.jsp portlet name this is for language properties and security role reference that means whatever the whoever the user have role like our user and user are able to access or interact with the portlet on the page now let's change the portlet name also right now the name you can see the name is employee mbc we have to change it so go to the language properties okay so here we can see i have changed the name employee.mbc to employee details name is changed so if you open the view.jsv it is accessing employee mbc.caption Okay, so this value is accessing from there. We can change it here. Like my first booklet, we can say. Okay. Okay. You can directly write in the JS file also. So I'm going to write one label. This will also work. Okay. This is 
simple label okay you can see once I am saving the data in the file so it is auto refreshing the core module and it is all deploying into the library so once I will refresh you can see the name of the portlet is changed here automatically now let's check category so now our portlet is inside the employee details category let's change the instanceable to true again so we can add the same portlet multiple times on the same page I'm making it true okay now again refresh now we are able to see in the widgets learning employee details we are able to add it multiple times because we made that parameter true so this is the sample example of MVC portlet creation now in the next video we are going to interact with the database and we will create one crude impressions using MVC portlet so if you want to learn the life array from scratch then stay tuned with us please subscribe our channel and like the video Thank you.